Shalom, 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 shalom. What a beautiful name it is. What a marvelous name it is. The name of Jesus. The name above every other name. The Bible says that the mention of his name, all knee will bow and all tongue will confess that he is the Lord. He is the King of kings. My friend, I want to say to you right now, God is so much interested in your case and God wants to transform your life and God wants to do great things, things that you have never imagined, things that you have never even thought of. The Bible says he is able to do far exceedingly, abundantly above all that we think or imagine according to the power that is working in us. So it means inside of you, there is something that the heavens have deposited. Inside of you, there is something that God had actually said this one. I'm going to deposit it in this person and he chose you to become the carrier of that particular gift today I want to pray with you because I know that in times of difficulty you need a prayer partner a prophet it is not only somebody that prophesies on your life but it's somebody that also agrees with you in prayer because the Bible says if two or three agree in one thing surely it shall be done surely the Father in heaven will do it I don't know what you want God to do for you but what I know is that God in this season, in this time, he is in the season of, of answering the prayers of his children. He is at the moment where he is ready to change life, where he is ready to do things that have never been done before. Why? Because it is the hour of the celestials, it is the hour of the children of God to arise, to come to the light of the living God, to come to that level of joy, to come to that level of happiness that begins to touch the heart of God. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. So I believe, family, that wherever you are right now, that Satan wants to take away that prayer line. Satan wants to take away that joy. Satan wants to take away what makes you to be a child of God. But I want to tell you this, that the longest the Lord thy God liveth, as long as the Lord thy God liveth, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. My God, the devil is a liar. You must understand that your life is not, you, you, you are not born by accident. It is not an accident for you to, 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 to be around. It is not an accident for you to be around. It is by divine plan. It is by divine uh, uh, plan from the Lord. So right now, I want you to understand it. Because when you understand that, you will begin to know that your life, it is a life that has been ordained by the heavens. And the heavens are interested in your case. I want you to go with me in the book of John number 5. John number 5, uh, verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth in me, and heareth the word that I say, there will never come unto condemnation, but they will have everlasting life. They have transferred from death to life. Family, I want to say to you, the Bible says God has transferred us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light by his glorious son, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came that we may be transferred from the world to the glorious kingdom of our God. You are not supposed to suffer with what the world is suffering with. You are not supposed to face the same, the same diseases and sufferings of the world. The Bible says when the children of Israel were taken out of Egypt, he said, I will not allow any sickness, any disease from Egypt to be seen amongst you. God does not want you to suffer like unbelievers. 
God wants to make sure that you as a child of God, you become different. That even in your own challenges, you become different. So right now, I want to pray with you. Because Jesus said, you have been transferred from death to life. As long as you believe. If you believe his word today, he will change your life. If you believe his word, he will transform everything that concerns you. Right now, as I'm talking to you, it is already working together for your good. I want you to connect with me in faith and believe the Lord. The Bible says, believe his prophets, you will prosper. Believe in God, you will be established. So right now, I want to pray with you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare right now, as right now, Lord Jesus, I declare right now, touch their lives, change them, destroy every chain that is holding them. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus Christ, in the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you all the glory. Lord, I give you all the honor. In the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. My friend, I want to say to you right now, the Lord has already done it for you. Faith is in the now. God has already done it right now. He has already made it possible for you. Whatever that you have been trusting God for, it is already made available for you. All supply cometh from heaven, and heaven has chose you. And God, say, I should tell you right now, it is already done. I see you receiving that miracle. I see you receiving that kind of good news that you've been waiting on God all this while to have. I want to say to you, it is already done. It is done. You will testify for the glory of the Lord. I want to say, my friend, God bless you. I love you. Until I see you next time.